So in this video, we'll be showing how to configure the domain controller in our Windows Server 2012 R2 environment. This used to be really simple. Uh, we used to just run DC Promo, done and walk through the wizard and we're done. Microsoft has changed the process. So we'll walk through what needs to be done to, to make that happen. The first thing that we're going to do is set up uh, our time on our Windows server to make sure that we're getting one, our time from uh, times.window.com. So we'll ensure that that's happening. That is ha happening. We'll make sure we're also in the correct time zone. Uh, I'm in Chicago, so we'll change the time zone to Central. There's an important reason why we're uh, starting out with time. Probably the two most important things in virtualization, whether it's uh, VMware vSphere, Windows, Hyper-V, KVM, doesn't matter. Anytime you're dealing with a distributed system such as vCenter, Time is extremely important, so making sure NTP is set correctly, as well as uh, the second thing, and probably just as important as time, is DNS. So we'll spend some time talking through uh, configuring both NTP and DNS. After we've set our computer's time correctly, then we're going to make sure we've named the computer. So we'll go to the control panel and uh, rename the computer. So we're going to rename our computer to a more descriptive name. So since it will be a domain controller, we'll name it VGDC01 with VG meaning virtualized geek. This will require a restart. Once we've logged back into our workstation, we'll go ahead and add a role to this server, and we're going to specifically add the Active Directory role to it. We'll make sure we select the server that we're actually working from. And we're going to choose Active Directory Services. And from this point forward, we can choose all the defaults. And that's it. In the next video, we'll actually go through configuring Active Directory.